Jacaranda Insights for Friday the 29th of December 2023. Woohoo! Getting close to New Year's and we're in a doorway that looks like he's right in between two wands, two doorways, two door jams with the world in your hands. So entering 2024, leaving some uh, challenging times behind, maybe you're feeling lighter because you've released some things. And that's all about standing on your intuition, which is this lilac balcony here. So you are up high and that's the best thing to look at things from a higher vantage point. The red rose is your base root chakra. The white rose is that you're coming from your highest intention. The red around his cloak there, passion, drive. The orange means creativity. So get creative and get that uh, zest back for finding that new direction and walking through that doorway of 2024. And the best thing that I can tell you is that the next card is the Hermit. And the Hermit is somebody who's had adversity through life. So they've come across uh, broken relationships. Uh, they might have been sacked or they studied and then they didn't get their best credentials that they thought they would. So there's been disappointments, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And the Hermit is often that's the person who stays in their house and won't come out. And I suggest that you do that in the next couple of days, maybe not on New Year's, but leading up to that. And the last couple of days, the cards have said to do that, haven't they? To journal, to write things down, what your inner, most deepest thoughts are. Because when you come out of the snow and out of your out of your prison, because one of the cards yesterday was like being in a coffin almost, so limited, so restricted. When you've been inside yourself, you actually find the better qualities. Don't focus on the faults, they will fall away. You've dealt with those this year. Know that the hermit is ready to shine his brightest light and shine the way towards your best future with the best intentions that you can ever have for your house and your home and your family and you, what do you want? I know that the world is a, a little bit selfish, I guess. Um, there's a lot of narcissistic people that are all about looks and, and the shallowness, but if you can be different to that and find your niche, find your true values and principles, I think next year will be uh, nothing but great things can happen, infinite possibilities. Because here's the last card of the Major Arcana story, number 21. So we talked about crossroads yesterday. Here's another two X's. And this is the last card of the Major Arcana story where you're meant to stop, breathe, look at your achievements. Look how you've been like an eagle looking at the, everything from above from a higher vantage point. You've learned to communicate with people, but also your inner self. Courage of the lion, tenacity of the bull, your intuition is wrapped around you, that purple of the third eye. Nakedness in the tarot means that you're happy in your own skin. And she looks like she's pretty well in bliss. Now, because it's in reverse today, it just means there's the last few things to tie a bow around before you move on to 2024. I suggest, if you can, write down the last few things that you'd like to say goodbye, even if you say... Thank you, 2023, for COVID, for influenza A, for me to stop still for three weeks and six weeks and, and reassess my career. Things like that. You've got to see the brighter side that there's a cup half full, more than half empty in what's happened in 2023. So having that gratitude, leaving those things behind, gives you that blank canvas for you to walk towards for 2024. So I'm loving these cards today. They're saying a lot of meaningful things the last few days. So nine is the Hermit, the two of Wands, nine, 10, 11, and the world is 21. So what's that? 21 and 11, 32. Three and two is five, and five is all about communication, communication with others, but really yourself. Get clear with what you want to do in your life. I'm not saying to be up yourself and go, I don't care about anybody else. They can go, you know, jump. No, it's about what wonderful things do I want to create for the world? What wonderful emanating light do I want to feel and glow with next year so that 
you will find that if you're doing something that you really love. If you are into music, if you are, have a great voice, I'm so envious of people with beautiful voices. If you're uh, great even at accountancy and adding numbers, good on you. Every single one of us has something to, it's a gift. Treat it as a gift, embrace it, increase it, expand yourself. Have a lovely day, everyone.